Strong. Let's give it up for Mr. Carl Richards. Yeah! Merry Christmas. No, that's a different day. And Mrs. Well, Pam Murphy, everybody. 007. That's right, you got it. How we doing tonight? Okay, how you doing, babe? Welcome, folks. Nice to see you all out there. So, uh, we'll go to you first and then see what the heck you got going on. I know you're busy. Always busy. You know what? We just had a great weekend. Um, this, oh, the fall leaves are out. It's been beautiful. Oh, we yeah. were up um, on the, the walkway over the Hudson Bridge this past weekend. Right. I was on the Highland side, and uh, we did a... Out of the Darkness Walk, and we had the Eminem band, the Murphy and Murray band. Play. I seen that. Yeah, it was it's good. It was a beautiful day. Very, very nice day. A lot of people there. I think there was a thousand people that were um, at the event and walked the bridge. It was a really great day. Yep. And you know, the Murphy and Murray band did really good. Mar uh, the Barb Murray, Bill Murray, Bill Murray Jr., Tim Murphy, and myself. We played covers. It was so fun. I enjoyed doing that. Hey, you it was, know, it was good. When they first started that, I played the Italian Fest. The year they started that walk bridge. Five years ago. As a matter of fact, they're on their fifth anniversary oh, this year. This must have been longer than that they were talking about. I mean, they didn't have it ready yet. Yeah, it's been a while. So, I used to live over there in Highland. Oh, yeah? Um, yeah, it's right on the cliff, right near that bridge. It's amazing. I used to watch all the snowstorms and lightning storms. It's scary during lightning storms because the lightning comes down on the bridge and you zap it and you see sparks and flames. and. Wow. But it's Pretty wild. That's why they're pretty serious when the, the clouds are out and they see thunder coming. They get people off the bridge fast. Well, I can imagine. I learned right that over the river. I learned that. No, I was out with my sister-in-laws and their kids, and it was really cloudy, and we walked all the way to the Poughkeepsie side. And next thing you know, it was like almost going to thunder and lightning, so they took the truck out. They drove it across the bridge to come get us. <laughs> they were, like, kicking us out. Like, let's boy, go now. Oh boy. So... But so that was a really good weekend. And, great, uh, that sounds like a lot yeah, of fun. Yeah, it was um, a great day overall. And uh, this weekend we've got Harvest Fest in Walden. If you're around, anybody in Port oh, Jervis, that sounds and, nice. Um, this area up here, come on over. It starts, I think, at nine o'clock in the morning, and then there's vendors all day and um, all kinds of different. Are activities. you singing at that too? I'm not singing, but Hudson Valley Conservatory. We have um, one of my students, Stephanie Rusuccia, is going to be singing and playing oh, guitar. Great. And all kinds of entertainment throughout the day. Um, and then uh, I think there's fireworks at night, but also in Walden is the wrestlers that day. You guys told ECPW me, right? ECPW wrestlers, yeah. Right. So um, you know, come on over to Walden on I Saturday. I think the bell starts October at seven thirty at the firehouse in Walden. Oh, well, there you go. Excellent. So um, it's going to be a great day there. Don't you want to come down Fest. and wrestle? For I God will be around all we day. We were supposed to have hey. wrestlers here, but they're ghosts. See them over there? They might show up. You never know. I'm getting them that license plate. No oh, show. Oh, by the way, Benzie's not here tonight. Hi, Benzie. Benzie Feel in Bullville. As you can see, I'm sitting here in his seat. So uh, He had the sniffles. He couldn't come. He's not feeling good. We hope you get better real fast. We'll see you next week. That's what he gets for going out in that cold air. <laughs> Where was he on the con U.S. Constitution? Something with the Cub with Scouts. The Cubs, with the Boy Scouts. They go yeah. all over, man. They That's go a good all leader. over. I'll They've been here many times on the show, and uh, we like to get the Port Jervis Cub Scouts or Boy Scouts. Come on down, we'll do a show with you. That'd uh, be fun, right? I, somebody talked to me, but then they never called back, so I don't really. Well, give Carl Richards a call, right? Yeah, we want him to come down, but our, our big thing to start off the. Uh, this year is October 18th. And, uh, here's, oh, tell me about this. Here's this. You and that's can here read in some uh, of this. Port Jervis. At Riverside Park. I don't know if all the names are on there, but there's a lot of people right, that maybe aren't even on there. So tell us what this is. 
This is going to be... A, it's called Rockin' the City for Hunger. Right, and it's uh, John Faggione, who's running the recreation. I approached him about it, and he goes, let's do it. And uh, all these people are donating their time to, to raise food for the food bank, mostly canned goods. So you can bring a can, you can bring a case. Non-perishable uh, items, you got it. That's great. Right, and, and that goes if, to the if local. If you like pantry, to read right? this, this is the name of a farm over in Pine Island. This friends of ours and uh, my son-in-law Louie got this. So Modern Produce, Pine modern, Island. Modern. modern. I know my spelling. All right, come on. If I could show you this, you would die. Modern Produce, Pine Island. Right. And uh, what is this? It's they're oh, going to they're going to do donate how many bags of onions? It'll be eighty. 80? Five pound Holy bags moly. of onions for Port Jervis. That's incredible. So again, that's modern produce, Pine Island. Now wow. these are all going to be. Uh, so we got to get more people donating some stuff. Get well, some John is going to have something organize all. So that I see stuff. there's a phone number on here that people yes. can call for information. Yep. That's eight four five eight five eight four zero four five. I'll say that again: eight four five eight five eight four zero four five, and that's going to be at Riverside Park. You said October 18th, that's Saturday, from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. It might even go to 7 p.m. Sound and Entertainment, donated by Richard's Production, of course. And your MC is going to be Mark West. Mark West from, from Wall Radio. All right. In Middletown, New York. It's going to be there to MC the whole show. And you got to tune his shows on in the morning on Wall Radio. Excellent. So here's the bands. The bands are going to be the Carl Richards Band, Rockabilly, of course. You've got the five creations who are phenomenal doo-wop bands. Doo-wop group, They were right. on Carl Richards. Oh, they were here on Keeping Country Yeah, Country they Strong. were here, yeah. They're so, so good. you got to come out and see them. Side FX, which is a classic rock band. you got Back Porch Gang, classic country. There you go. And Little Sparrow, we've been on here, too. So they're folk and bluegrass. And you got other singers. we got Josie Lou, who's going to be singing. Mr. Phil. Pam Murphy, that'd be me. Uh, Bob Nicholson, he's been on the show also. And then you've got Lou, how do you say his last name? Tourettes? Yeah, Tourettes. you got it right, yeah. Will Hoppy and Mark Lisogorski. And polka. he does polka. He's so Mark You got such man. a mix of music. And that's, that's, not, awesome. even, that's not even all the list. Uh, Al from Al's yeah, Music having... is going to have an Irish band on. And I'm going to say, what's the name of that band, Lo? Parting glass. Oh, I These like guys that. are great. And they do Irish music. They're going to be there. It's like a Celtic and, type uh, of a sound or. Yeah, what they're they got? they're they got the fiddle and everything in it. They're oh, excellent guys. He <laughs> does country. a lot for the community too. Anyway, <laughs> but he's going to be there. And then we got the line dancers coming, uh, pushing country line dance group. Oh, excellent! And I think we're going to try to get them either dance right to the music playing, mm -hmm. and or then they'll bring something. And prepared. hopefully, John, who's helping put this together, he's going to have a either have hot dogs there or the ice cream truck. Few vendors and crafts. Oh, excellent. Wow. And, and hopefully this will grow just like toys mm -hmm. for kids. So it's a great day for a great cause. So come on down to Riverside Park here in Port Jervis. Again, that's Rockin' the City for Hunger. And that's Saturday, October 18th. Awesome. And uh, it's rain or shine because Pam can sing in the rain. <laughs> yes, I can. And you're going to be out <laughs> singing some tracks, right? Um, yeah, I'm going to do some covers. This time. I'm going to do covers. Yeah, yeah. that's fine, yeah. Because, yeah, you know, here on the, the Access 23 TV station, in order to put it over the airwaves, right, it's gotta we got to do, you know, original, original tunes music, or public yeah. domain material. That's why you hear so many originals, which is a great opportunity for singer-songwriters. And, uh, and I, it's also I, nice that we can do covers elsewhere, too, because... I love to sing. And all Emma kinds of music. Bill Yu. Emma uh, Bill Yu, right. Will be on in the fall sometime when they go on their fall vacation. So She's an up and coming artist from Orange County, New York, 13 years old. And she's been doing a lot, a lot of singing, uh, rhythm and blues style. You and know, and, uh, and, and uh, really, really up and coming superstar, I want to say. Quiet over be there. It's going to be really, really good. So and we're looking for good things for her. She's got an album out. EP, uh, Emissary. Well, I played her songs, but I kept saying so, her name wrong on the radio you know you show. Did. Bill you. <laughs> Sorry, we got it. So, yes. Yeah, so, what else you got going on with your band, Carl Richards Band? Well, we got the, the we're going to celebrate my birthday November 1st, which it's actually it's November 2nd. It's a big year 2nd, this year, isn't it? And it's, uh, quiet. <laughs> what do you mean? What? It, it's going to be at the Mountain Rest Inn out in West Milford. 
and uh, you got to come out to that. We're going to really have a party going there. The whole band will be there, and uh, we're going to celebrate. All right. Sounds like a good rockabilly time. Because she makes you feel so old. <laughs> it's uh, nonstop. That is not true. <laughs> and then Toys for Kids this year, if you'd like to come to that, you got to bring a brand-new toy unwrapped. Last year we had enough toys. Uh, Benzie always says this wrong. We had enough toys for 800 homes. That's great. Not 800 people. 800 homes. So there was way more than 800 toys. Okay. It was. Uh, and, and this year we're going to have it again at Norbury Hall for for the town of Warsing, Allenville, that area. The first weekend in December. December correct? 6. Okay. So and it's a three day hard. event. Hopefully the wrestlers will do a wrestling match mm -hmm. uh, on the fifth. And then uh, they do like the Nutcracker or something on the Sunday on the mm -hmm. on the seventh. Great. So it's an all day Great thing. Great community they, event in Ellenville. It's gotten huge. They do the tree. They have people singing choir in the park. That's and great. we're hoping that this food drive uh, brings the community together because Here the food Jarvis banks are really yeah. hurting. And don't matter that you have to be poor. Yeah. The middle class people are even hurting mm -hmm. and can use food. It's like ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It's pretty bad. So tough times. So let's pull together. So I heard my that. callings, <laughs> and uh, and you also you do all kinds of stuff. And then we're hoping you get me a date for us to do that show. I know we're the, looking for it. We got a lot of stuff going on. As a matter of fact, uh, one who flew over the cuckoo's nest is. If you're around this weekend again, um, it's the beginning of October. If you're watching this, and we've got at the New Rose Theater in Walden, New York, and that's directed by Samuel E. Wright, and that's at 35 East Main Street. Phenomenal show. Friday at 7.30. Saturday, there's two shows. And Sunday, it's 7 or 7.30. You can go on our website, www.hvcfa.com, and check out any information for that. But I also have Rock the New Rose. I'm going to have a, yo a young band come. And they're Great. really good. I'm excited to hear them live. I've only heard them on my blog talk radio site, the Vamp Time show there. And they're going to do, their name is Destructive Decisions. They're right. a young, you know, group that looking for, you know, things to do in the community. And so they're selling a bunch of tickets. They're doing a bunch of promotional stuff. So it's going to help the theater right. and get us some money there. But it's also going to help the band also. And that's Jeff Salier and his band. So I'm looking forward to that October 17th. So if you're around, come on down. It starts at 9 o'clock. Doors open at 8.30. Great. And, and uh, it would be a great family event, you know, for Benzie, kids to come to. Benzie has a lot of bus trips going out. I know he's got one to the Sands Casinos. Uh, shortly, and uh, if you want to get on that, go on Benzie's Productions on Facebook and uh, promotions. promotions. Okay. Yeah, right. Benzie Promotions. I she think had to. She had to run that through her brain. I could see <laughs> I that. I did. Go. Well, listen, her you brain was just sometimes uh, you say around. it. Whatever. It's like you're calling me up. You're saying, "Oh, that student of yours, Mimi." I'm like, "Who the heck is Mimi?" Right. <laughs> well, that's me. No, I, Mimi. He meant Emma. When you get Which too much on your plate, yes. the dang plate breaks in you half. And that's the end of it's everything. Okay. You get me guessing all the time. You keep me on my toes. And we got a special guest singer from this area, too, a little bit later. We do. Molly McCabe is going to join us. And she's yes, going to do she an is. acapella song, first that's time right. on TV. We got to hear her. And uh, hopefully they get some karaoke together. And uh, yeah. my granddaughter, too. So I hope she gets hers together. Which granddaughter are you talking about? I don't know her name. <laughs> Are we allowed to talk about the it? The Kinnear one. And Cheyenne, which one? You take your pick. I don't know. Whichever one wants to come on. My other grandson was supposed to come down tonight, John, but he didn't show up either. Nobody shows we up. We got Alex here. You got, wait a minute. You Alex is here, here, but he's half asleep over there. Hey, him. Lois is here tonight. Yay. Yep, and she had her operation. That's right. And She's moving around. Thanks to everybody who's had made right. the prayers for her. Yes, so thank you. And we got Tom Castellana tonight, and Barry's here. Tommy's, right, we got uh, Tom on the man in the fort in there and Barry, so we're going to say thank you to them. And and next week we have a band, but I can't tell you their name yet. <laughs> but okay. yes, we are having a band. So good. All right, very good. So listen, why don't you go over there? I'm going to go over and get ready. I'm going to be doing some songs. I can talk later if you want for my Sweet Dangers album and my Shady Lady album. Okay, so and then both. when you get done, come back over and we'll talk some I more. Will. And then we'll get this young girl to sing. All right, thanks, Carl. How so many songs are you going to do? I'm going to do six songs wow. in a row. And then I'm going to come back Good thing she over. pays to sing. It's great. Yeah, right. So enjoy. All right, I'll be back. <laughs> All right, go on over there. <laughs> Soon, we hope, at the beginning of the year, we might even jump to cable vision in the West Milford area uh, through Bob Nicholson. 
And uh, we do have a meeting coming up next Wednesday. If you're around, you want to come out. And uh, we're trying to get everything together and pay our bills just like everybody else. But uh, this this uh, can drive is going to really be good for the community in the in this city of Port Jervis. Come on out, bring a can, come see all the entertainers. And come out anyway if you can't even bring something. But if you can, bring some canned goods. So we know we got onions. Are you ready? We are ready. All right, Pam Murphy. All right, thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, so I am Pam Murphy, and I'm from Walden, New York, and I'm a singer-songwriter, and I want to thank you all for giving me the opportunity to sing some original numbers. So the first one I'm going to do is from my Sweet Dangers album, and it's called Let Our Souls Dance. Enjoy. Thanks. So to slow things up a little bit, and this next song is called Serenity Now. Met her in my younger years. Soul full of life, had nothing to fear. She took to her music and wanted to teach. So much to give, her message could reach. She got a good job doing what she loved. Each shining day filled with rhymes or made love. And on her desk was a prayer of praise, filling her spirit when it needed.
just be yourself and the riches you'll see life's a true blessing and the music is want it all and the last two numbers you just heard are from a new album I wrote and the new album is called Shady Lady and it's coming out soon I'm going to JC Santalis recording studio which is in Patterson New York it's called Rob recording studio he's an excellent engineer my drummer is Anthony and I'm gonna go ahead and play another song for you and it's called sweet warm night
you all right that one you all knew and one more before we go back over to talking to carl and bringing out another singer molly i'm gonna do my title of my album which is called shady lady and it's a lot of fun and i've just had a lot of fun singing this so i hope you enjoy it shady lady a million bees. One minute she's hot, in an instant turns cold. If it's all about money, she becomes really bold. Thinking she's sly, twisting the truth. Lies make you dirty when you're hiding the truth. She's a shady lady, cut like a knife. She's a shady lady.
Now put that in your bank and see how famous she'll be. She's a shady lady, cuts like a knife. She's a shady lady, like fire in eyes. Shady lady throwing mud around, slinging dirt and losing ground. She's a shady lady, very shady lady. Uh -uh. Shady lady, shady lady. Come on over, Shady. We gotta get Shady over here. I'm starting to remember that song. I've heard it so many times. I'm telling you, it's it's one of my favorites. People go around, they have a little dance we do to it, too. Oh, yeah, yes. And it's just a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to sing. Hey, I gotta thank you for this year. You, you and your group and you have done a lot for the things I've been doing. Thank you. Well, we appreciate the um, you're giving us a lot of exposure for my conservatory, so we thank you also. And I, and I hope you put something wild together for December 6th for Toys for Kids. They put on a great Christmas show. There's actually a video floating around somewhere yeah. on you on Facebook. We've got, the kids did a great job, right? Everybody was talking about that. And so did all that. the other performers that day. You know what? What a great day to come on down and watch. And it's indoors, and it's nice and warm, and they have hot chocolate and all kinds of stuff. That's what Norbury Santa Hall. Claus and Mrs. Oh, Claus. Right. They'll be here on the show, too, uh, before the event. Mm -hmm. uh, we had them on, and they come down. We talk about uh, Santa Claus. Yeah, we do. Hey, if you want to get a hold of me, you can get a, go on to my website, which is www.pamproductions.webs.com, or on Facebook, Pam Murphy, 007, 007. Don't send a pigeon. It ain't <laughs> Listen, coming there's back. a lot of Pam Murphys out there. So, right? you know what? Every time I type in, you know, to come up with the name so I could claim that site as a musician, they kept saying no. Right? So I liked being 007 undercover. So don't I said, why not? So it, it works. Don't send a pigeon. It won't come back. <laughs> <laughs> right? I didn't know you knew how to cook pigeon, did you? Oh, no. Stop. So um, <laughs> let's see. We've got a, a wonderful girl who's going to come up and sing, right? Yes, she so is. So should we have her come up? What do you think? Yeah, why don't we have her come over why here come and we can talk to her first. So let's uh, hear, let's see, Molly McCabe, you're going to come on up. Amber, are you coming up too? Yep. So we had some people drop in tonight, and this is really a very, a, a treat All right. for us. Come on over here and, and then we heard, Alex will get we heard the camera. Sing. So come on over. Take a seat, girls. Whoever wants to come on up. Come on up, guys. You Whoever's two guys want to come up? Come, come on, on up. up. There's an empty seat. Come on over. This is a slow so, night. Um, we love to have you. So, you know what? There's a... Uh, grab the stool right there. You can move on. Put that on the end there. There you go. So, who are we? Let's let's go down the, the line here. There we go. What's your name? Matthew's chewing. Matthew? And what's your name? Cheyenne. Cheyenne. And they're chewing gum on camera. <laughs> they do it in school, too, and that I don't so, like it. Uh, do you want me to swallow it, then? You know who brought the gum, though? I can't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Some you school are. teacher she <laughs> is. Sorry, you are. Um, I'm his granddaughter, Amber. Amber, what's your name? Molly McCabe. Don't throw me in that mess. Well, you know what? I have to say, in my defense, um, you you're not supposed no to defense. chew on camera. You're not supposed to chew when you're singing because you can breathe it in and, like, seriously, <laughs> you inhale it. You know what that's like. Yeah, I did that one. And, and you gag. But all, uh, it helps when I, it relaxes my vocal cords when I swallow and I have moisture because I just swallow. I told and, you to and, try and holes. Saliva comes down and coats the throat. No, that actually dries your throat out. No. No. Yes, it does for me. If you use regular halls and no life flavors. Lifesavers, right. No, right. no not lifesavers. Life Listen. No menthol, I'm no I'm explaining this to you, ma'am. <laughs> regular halls with the blue pack, the re the real ones, it opens the whole top of your head up, and you can sing better. Yeah, and then you're dripping all over when you're singing. No, you know, you're not no, supposed to blow your nose no, while you're singing. No, lifesavers work. You can use candies and stuff, but I use gum because it just lasts longer. Anything with sweet stuff gets on your vocal cords and the sap. On your vocal You drink cords. water afterwards and flush it. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Listen, I, I better not go away. Hey. But I have not lost my voice in a very, very long time. I lost my you voice You did once. One I time. found it, and I ran down the road oh, and got stop. it. <laughs> one time when I was teaching at Valley Central High School, and I had to sing every day, and I'd sing low, and a lot of tenor, I was pushing the low voice. 
But also, I was drinking tea every day. Here I am thinking I was doing a good thing, drinking tea every day. And I went to the voice doctor, President Clinton's voice doctor. Yeah, I know. And he I'm. says to me, and also my Dr. Kale, he says to me, um, it's the tea, the reverse reflux action of it. And I stopped it. Within a, two weeks, my voice was back. So now That's she's drinking JD. Like, so now it's I drive than... everybody crazy. So tell us a little bit about yourself. <laughs> what brings you down here to the station? No so it's just you passing time reason. tonight. That's good. Well, we're glad you're here. You're going to sing you too? Down? Oh, okay. How about yeah, me? I haven't been down here for a while. Oh, we haven't seen you guys in a while. They usually come down and help. They, they, they do. They help. They, they sing. We're they trying to get to them to music. sing, they but listen, they keep bringing they me listen. crappy CDs that don't work and stuff. I didn't bring the crappy CD. You gave it to me. You gave it to me. You. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. No, Grandma made it. So, Molly, what brings you down? To sing. To sing. I, Woo! I we're here. excited. She is going to join us on the, the food drive and sing one oh, song. Oh, excellent. One? Why just is, one? Is it your grandfather or your... Who's actually singing in the doo-wop group? What well, is he? That's uh, Miss Valentine. Valentine George. George. Are they related to you? No. She's just my teacher. Oh, oh her teacher. Oh, wait a minute. So, wait, wait, wait. What, so what's there's your a whole teacher story. Say? I want to hear the story. Miss um, Valentine. Yeah, so Miss Valentine. I used to sing for her all the time last year in school and bring my guitar in. And then me and her just met up one day, and I spent one of my class periods with her. And she was like telling me about how her husband singing the doo wop group, and she's like, "You have to sing for it." She's like, "I don't want to. I want to try and get you to be able to sing for it." Oh, and that's she's great! Like, she's like, "You got to sing this song and that song." And then she gets me carried into well, it. Well, you will get to sing <laughs> at least one song because I got a list of people coming an arm long. You know what? You keep talking for a minute. I'm gonna get her set up. Yeah, you will get her set okay, up. Okay, I'm gonna Do get something. her set up. All right. Man. You know, I work all the time here. I know you do nothing. <laughs> anyway. They don't call her nothing for nothing. <laughs> no, she's such a hard worker. It makes me hilarious. But uh, they have an excellent doo-wop group. Yeah, they do. Uh, I never even heard them. You never yet. heard them? You yeah. have to. And uh, people, you're going to come out and hear them for this uh, food <laughs> drive. And uh, side effects. I'll tell you, we got such a mix of, of music. We got some Irish music, some polka music. This is going to be wild, crazy stuff. And line dance group. And the wrestlers uh, from WCPW said they were going to come down and bring their belts with them, their championship belts, and maybe just meet a lot of people and stuff like that. And now we got all these onions for everybody, which is great. I donated. So uh, 85 pound bags of onions for the food banks. Wow. Just was donated tonight from Pine Island Farm out there. And uh, I don't know what, Pam, dancing over there. There ain't no music. <laughs> We're ready. We're ready? You ready, Molly? Yep. All right, you go on over and get it set up, and then Pam will come back and we'll introduce you, okay? All right. All right. <laughs> now, Pam. <laughs> There goes that feedback. <laughs> Don't put your hand over the front of the mic. I did. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm back. Here I am. Hey. So we're going to give it up and listen to a beautiful number, an acapella number. What does acapella mean, girls? Um, without, without, <laughs> without accompaniment. So without, like, piano or anything like that. So we're going to hear Molly McCabe. Let's give it up for Molly. <laughs> Molly, take it away. I'm be singing Wish You Were Here by Pink Floyd. So, so you think you can tell heaven from hell, blue skies from pain. Did you tell a green field from a cold steel rail, a smile from a veil? Do you think you can tell? Did they get you to trade? Your heroes for ghosts, hot ashes from trees, hot air to the cool breeze, cold comfort for change. Did you exchange a walk on part in the walls with a lead role in a cage? 
How I wish, how I wish you were here. We're just two lost souls swimming in a fishbowl year after year, running over the same old grounds. Or have we found the same old fish? Wish you were here. All right, come on, come on back over. Let's give it up for Molly. You know what? I think uh, we're getting some feedback from that mic. Yeah, can you turn that mic down I'll or off? Only a little bit. Pull it over. You can't sing in front of the mains like that because then it's not your fault, but uh, that's showbiz. Mm -hmm. So next time you get feedback like that, what Move. it is is that mic is so <laughs> hot and feedback and you're, you're like singing yeah, into the it's mains. It's where we put it. We probably should have just had her over by my... Um, keyboard or over yeah. here. That's okay. But you know what? You sang beautifully. Thank, Thank you, you for singing for us. Thank you. Beautiful. We were talking before. Um, you played. You said you played an instrument. Yeah, I play a little bit of guitar. A little bit of guitar. I'm still learning more. I'm not too good, but mm -hmm. I'm getting a it's lot. It's always better. fun to have that, though. Yeah, good it for helps you. a lot too. It makes me feel. Better. And what school did you say you were from? I'm from Port Jervis High School. Nice. He's All right. Your Port Jervis. Are you singing Excellent. anymore? No, I'm. I don't, I'm not. I'm okay. not singing anymore. He can unplug it. He looked like he was swordfish it's from like, there with yeah. that thing. It's like, move away. Yep. No, we're doing good. So um, you're not in chorus or anything like that, but you like to sing, you said. Yeah, nope, not too many people know about my voice except for the several people there. In well, my there's class. another one for your school. Same here. All these girls here, nice. if they came down, her school is really, they It's teach. the Hudson Valley Conservatory, they by the teach. way. We do music, dance, drama, business owners. Um, I'm one of them. Mandy Wright, Sam Wright, we do... All kinds of activities, you know, and I, but intensify. <clears throat> it's got to be people like you who are serious. You know, we start with beginner classes and things like that. But as they get older, you know what you want to go into. So, you know, if you want to well, be a singer, anyway, kind of take, take Pam's card. You kind of need to know, you know, how to read music. You probably should play piano a little bit or guitar, whichever. And then it's always nice to be able to move. So we do some like movement, dance classes, and stuff like that, and acting, drama. Quiet on the it set. Always, it always helps, you know what, to have that extra edge, to be a triple threat, mm -hmm. you know, have the, the step up on somebody else. And it's you also, know? like, really, really, like, relaxing. So, like, if you're having just a, a bad day, just playing an instrument and everything, right? it makes you stop mm -hmm. thinking about it, like, completely. That's what I do. I want to know, how right? can I get out of all this crap? I've been involved for since I was five years old, and there's no escape. I, I think music just becomes a part of you. It's in your soul. You know, oh, you can't boy. help it. You know what? You're just born to be a musician. That's how it goes. Hey, Alex, unplug that speaker because it got a terrible buzz going here now. <sighs> That's right, terrible buzz. That's it. Walk right in front <laughs> of the camera. <laughs> oh, jeez. He's tired, he said. That's so, why he did that. But. Uh, Molly, where, you said you're from Port Jervis, and you're going to be graduating in a year and a half or so? Does that sound about right? Yep. Do you have any ambitions to go to music in your future, or what do you think? Just want it for fun. I want to, but, you know, it's really difficult, especially nowadays with a lot of people with that type of, like, dream. Right. But I, w I would love to. Like, I want to be in a band and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I love I love music. Music's been something I grew up with ever since I was little. I'm listening to punk rock and rock and roll with my family. It's mm -hmm. just our thing. And I just want to sing all the time, but I also have other things that I think about to do, too. Good. All right. Well, good well, luck. Do you know they say that if you sing, if you sing all the time, you go around singing that you're a happy person? Holy God. <laughs> I went, oh. Hmm. Good to know, right? I'm happy. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you come over and we got you to sing. And uh, I was uh, really glad to. I liked doing it. You know, we just this show has been around 23 years, and we just do everything off the cuff, which everybody here will tell you. And if the ship goes down, the crew jumps over in a rowboat and lets you go. <laughs> As you can see. <laughs> but, uh, what, you are know, we, what are we showing now? So what are I, I brought my video of um, Have Faith, which is one of the numbers I wrote. It's just about, you know, in your life you have certain things that you do. Like I have music, you have music, mm -hmm. you have music. But there, we also have many other things. But there's a, there's a song that I wrote, and I'd like you. It's just the piano and me singing, and it's got some... Um, pictures of me with all of my students at the Hudson Valley Conservatory. I think there's some of us here. And just some sayings that are positive inspirations I know that help me in my life. So 
let's listen and let's give a watch to my up and coming album's new song called. Now, how long is this? Have faith. In this. Put your hands up 
So thank you all for watching Keeping Country Strong. Yes. This is Mr. Carl Richards and Pam Murphy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You got to get up your seat. It's time to the beat. A country style boogie makes you dance on your feet. It's keeping country strong. A keeping country strong. Get your cowboy boots on and cheer for the band. Join right in and give them a hand. The music tonight will get you to stand on keeping country strong. You got to get up your seat. It's time to the beat. A country style boogie makes you dance on your feet. It's keeping country strong. A keeping country strong. The magic begins. Lois gives us a grin. Rockin' Alex Barry Lou and some moonshine gin. Keep a country strong. The radio booth is filled with a glow. A kicking those beats from the bass below. A keep a country strong. You gotta get up your seat. It's time to the beat. A country style boogie makes you dance on your feet. It's keep a country strong. A keep a country strong. You gotta get up your seat, stomp to the beat. The country style boogie makes you dance on your feet. It's keeping country strong. I keep a country strong. Keeping it, keeping it. I keep a country strong.